Is that the right place? I sure hope so. Oh, well, then why did you look so surprised to see me, darling? Well, I was expecting Luke, actually. Oh, well, then I'll go and come back when you're ready Don't for you me. Don't you dare. Oh. You look absolutely gorgeous. Oh, thank you, darling. Oh, I certainly hope that's not what you're going to wear tonight. Well, I had this vision in mind of dusting off the old island duds, but I thought it might embarrass the senator. <gasps> oh, that reminds me, the very second we get there, you have to introduce me to him, okay? I'm sure I won't have to. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so excited. You know, perhaps, uh, perhaps the senator would like to invest in our film. For the prestige, of course. Of course. We certainly don't need the money, do we, darling? On the contrary, we're going to need every dollar we can get. Oh, but Robert, we've already decided that you're going to be the principal financer for this film. Not unless you're planning a ten-minute, eight-mil version shot on location in Kelly's Diner. Oh, don't be so silly, Robert. What are you talking about this time? I'm talking about reality, darling, not this never-never land of Gollywood that you're living in. Are you talking about trying to lure the budget one more time? Something like that. Look, I have already told you that we have gone from ten to five million dollars. Well, okay, okay, we'll go... Two million dollars, but you simply cannot do a decent picture for less than two million dollars. Is that clear? No way. No more discussions. Tiffany, look. What I've been trying to tell you is that I do not have millions of dollars. Oh, of course you don't, darling. I know you have it all tied up in your nice little bank accounts. There are no bank accounts. Oh, well, um, <laughs> that was very silly of me. I know that you have it must be in your, uh, your diamond mines. There are no diamond mines. No diamond... Uh, well, uh, you surely have one diamond mine. I... Look, I wouldn't even know what a bloody diamond mine looked like. You have stocks? Or bonds? A wealthy uncle? Mm -hmm. What you're trying to tell me is that you have no money? Broke. You're broke? I couldn't have put it better myself. I don't understand this, Robert. I really don't understand look, this. Look, look. The whole thing was a front. The house, the, 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 the mines, the money, the cars, the, all the whole bit. Well, you've got to have something. Mm -hmm. About $40,000 in severance pay from the World Security Bureau, a pittance I know. The clothes on my back and my shoes as soon as I get them on. You all right? Take it easy. Well, I must say, Tiffany, you're taking this whole thing a lot better than I thought you would. You know, I thought you might be... I do not believe you! Why? party with me no of course i'll go to the party what the hell else is there to do around here at least we won't have to pay for it will we <laughs> uh, i uh thought that was you welcome to the remake of apocalypse now the b version evening miss hill redecorating <sighs> Listen up, buddy, I think you, uh, better get changed. Heroes aren't meant to be late. <laughs> uh. Only four. Had better ease up. This isn't a competition, you know. I'm trying to anesthetize myself. Do you mind? I don't give a damn, darling. Just don't make a fool of yourself without the host. <laughs> You're forgetting my darling little pauper. And I'm a good actress, and actresses never make a fool of themselves. Uh, I think I know who that is. Yes, I knew the dancing girls would get here eventually. Oh, I knew I forgot something. You got what? My toe shoes. <laughs> Isn't the brother here yet? Uh, yes, Luke is holding court right over there. Hmm. Oh, Ruby is with the senator. Oh, well, I'm very impressed. Uh, I have a good idea. Why don't you follow me to the bar? Oh, that's a terrific idea. Thank you. 
Well, it isn't very often that a community can be as proud as it is about two young people. I must say I'm very impressed with the way you, Laura, and you, Luke, went forward with courage and determination. Oh, it was impressive. It just was a little hard on her poor old gray-haired mother. <laughs> Is it true that you were instrumental in nailing Frank Smith and his mob associates? Uh, well, that was a long time ago, and it, uh... Yes, uh, he did, single-handedly. Almost, almost. almost. Uh, then I was right. This is not the first time you stuck out your neck for the community. Are you kidding? That's part of Luke's natural posture. He always leads with the chin. Well, it's a very admirable posture, particularly in a young man who wants to get ahead, and I'm sure that Luke does. Get ahead, I live for it. Well, the government is always looking for enterprising young men, and the government is not a bad employer. Yes, just ask the air traffic controllers. So, what do you say, Luke? About what, sir? To a career in politics. <laughs> Me? Yes, you've got what it takes. I've observed. Well, to tell you the truth, I never really thought of that. <laughs> There's no time like the present. I don't know, Laura. How do you feel about being the wife of a politician? Uh, well, it's, it's an interesting idea. It's uh, very different from what I envisioned for it. Mm -hmm. Senator, I'm very interested in politics. Oh, well, you certainly do have the equipment for it. Mr. <laughs> You're so kind. <laughs> Sorry, Senator, but she doesn't type. <laughs> He's probably a very happily married man. Well, what do I care? Marriages come and go, you know, but power like his lasts forever, darling. You are impossible. Oh, uh, so are you. And don't interrupt me again. I'll make a point of it. <laughs> where did you prep, Luke? Prep? A uh, prep school. It's very important where one went to school, getting ahead. Oh, I see. Well, I suppose you could say I prepped on the waterfront. Oh, and where did you go to college? I didn't. You're talking to a poor boy. Senator. Well, that doesn't matter. In fact, it sometimes tips the scale with the voters. Oh, yes, I think I could understand that. Probably the voters could relate to a poor slob like themselves. Huh. Well, uh, tell me about your family. My family is here. Oh. Ah, good to see you, Bobby. Oh, and it's wonderful to see you. I don't believe you've met my Aunt Ruby, Senator Drake. Ruby. It's a great honor, sir. See, have we ever met before? Oh, I, I don't think so. Well, I never forget a face. I, I'm very flattered, but I... don't but believe I, you've ever met. Maybe, maybe in a campaign trip or fundraising well, or... I, I, oh, excuse me, I'm... Uh, so, so, so. Ah, no, I remember you were stooping at the hospital. Yes. But you very nearly did a job on my shoes. No doubt the best shine you ever had. I would like you to meet my family, Senator. My Aunt Ruby and my sister Bobby, the Senator. You're very lucky. I know. Why don't we head down to the side room? It's probably about time now, I think. Yes, yes, we shouldn't be late. Clever. Shall we? Yes. Yeah. Okay.